Thanks for joining us here tonight. I'm Danica Lewis. The Beloit College graduate whose life was threatened on video is now dead at the hands of Al Qaeda militants. 33 year old Luke Summers was a photojournalist in Yemen captured last year by a ter the terror group and News 3's Valina Jones starts our coverage tonight sitting down with one of Summers teachers about his death. Luke Summers was a student here at Beloit College from 2004 until 2007. One faculty member tells me that what he'll remember most about Summers is his passion for people. And he had this kind of intense driving curiosity to, to see the world, to make sense of it, to put it in words, to order it, to represent it for others. Sean Gillen had Luke Summers in only two of his classes at Beloit College. It's been years since he's seen him, but he says he still remembers Summers' desire to help people. Luke was someone who wanted to lead a life that was uh, very purposeful and that he was going to go out in the world and make a difference. Summers graduated in 2008. He was working as a photojournalist in Yemen when he was taken hostage over a year ago. I'm certain that my life is in danger. So as I sit here now, I ask if anything can be done, please let it be done. Three days after the video's release, Summers and another hostage were killed by their captor Saturday during a rescue attempt by U.S. forces, their second in two weeks. I mean, part of me still, um, hours later after hearing the news of his death, is kind of hoping that that's not true. And Gillen is not the only one. Many on campus who learned of Summers' capture this week are still in disbelief. In a statement from the college, they said the Bullock College community is grappling with the news of the loss. We offer our sincerest condolences to his mother, family, to his classmates and friends, and to the people he courageously and selflessly served in Yemen. We are proud to be associated with Luke. And so I think that he is going to be held up by many of us for years to come as a model of a student who learned, who read, who reflected during their college years, and then afterwards, you know, acted upon what he felt was, should be the direction of, of his life. The semester here at Beloit College wraps up in about a week from now. Gillen says he expects there to be a vigil held in summer's honor before then. In Beloit, I'm Valina Jones, WIC-TV, News 3.